The next section of tape is about 24 minutes long and starts coverage in the area of Wild Cove Head, then past Decker's Cove, Norris Point, around Neddy Hill, and into Neddy Harbor. Circling the head of Neddy Harbor, then past Shoal Point, and entering Deer Arm, past Beachy Point, and circling the entrance to Deer Brook. then into the east arm of Bond Bay, past the mouth of Mackenzie's Mill Brook, then past Rocky Cove, Seal Cove, and circling southeast arm, then looping around the entrance of east arm Barishwa, past Loman, and up the other side of east arm, past Shag Cliff, Gads Harbor, and ending at Gads Point. And then at Wild Cove Head, rocky headland, very narrow rock platform, backed by a rather low three to four meter rock cliff. Some boulders in the back shore. Now to Decker's Cove, with Netty Harbour in the background and Netty Hill. Rock cliff giving way to unconsolidated material in the cliffs. Maybe an old raised delta deposit. Roughly estimated at 15 meters high. Partially stabilized cliff fronted by continuous but rather narrow beach. Next sand and gravel beach. And then out to a rocky point. This is Norris Point. And then another mixed sand and gravel beach in Norris Cove on the east side of the point. Swinging around Netty Hill into Netty Harbor. to Nettie Harbor with uh, Bond Bay in the background. Community of Bond Bay in the background on the distant shore. Community of Norris Point in the foreground. And the water of Norris of Nettie Harbor, rather. The Nettie Harbor shoreline is very low energy. Largely vegetated and stabilized bank in the back shore. Narrow, poorly sorted beach, discontinuous in the foreshore. Next to sand, purple copper boulder. boulders in the uh, near shore, visible in the picture there now. And as we swing around to port, pick up a small beach which is uh, much finer material. And then in the middle distance, some rock outcrop. shore of Nettie Harbor, rock outcrop, foreshore, 
vegetation extending down to the limit of wave wash. More warps. Another community of Nettie Harbor with uh, some road fill, poorly sorted sediments, foreshore, very low angle near shore slope, and warp. Center now of another picture a uh, partially stabilized uh, cliff in a consolidated material fronted by a uh, narrow gravel beach. And at shoal point in the middle of the picture, rock outcrop again. A small pocket beach beyond that. And then back into rock. In the background now, deer arm. The flight will take us up the uh, left or western shore of Deer Arm to the estuary that's visible in the distance now. Rock cliffs along here, variable height. Boulder accumulation at the base of the cliff. Some talus in places. And some finer gravel forming a very limited beach wedge, discontinuous in the foreshore. The gravel beach wedge is now almost continuous, but very limited in width. Back by the cliff, partially vegetated, trees extending right down to the uh, Very narrow beach wedge. No more than two meters wide. Next bubble cobble boulder. Sitting north into Deer Arm. And now picking up the beachy point, the spit, the small barrier which uh, delimits the estuary at the head of Deer Arm. It's the Deer Brook estuary. M. Shoal in the left foreground, between Roadville on the right of the inlet and uh, the uh, low spit at the uh, left, and we're now into the estuary. The barrier appears to be mixed uh, sand and gravel, very low energy uh, beach face. Shore inside the estuary here, also poorly developed. Small marsh deposit in the foreground, and now the both of Deer Brook and the bridge. We'll swing around to port and uh, pick up the east shore of the estuary, flying at 600 feet. View back to the mouth of the estuary and out into east arm of Bond Bay. And now on the uh, left bank of the river outlet, that small marsh area again, and along the eastern shore of the estuary, the uh, shoreline is almost entirely uh, developed in road fill now. Mitchell's Brook outlet. Still road fill. Slab beyond the river. Now 
south along the east shore of Deer Arm and we'll proceed uh, along the north east shore of East Arm of Bond Bay. Kenzie's Mill Brook. Small uh, Pan Delta. At the mouth of Mackenzie's Mill Brook. Next Pebble Cobble. Boulder Beach developed around it. And back into Roadville.
Milwaukee Cove. Limited pitch development. Now looking into Seal Cove. sediment trap in there, back into rock outcrop. Now into the mouth of southeast arm. And we're approaching the Delta in Southeast Town. This Delta has a well developed single jet fan and freighted stream outlet in the Delta itself. Sand and gravel in the distributary channels. There's the delta and both at the head of southeast arm and you can see the abjet feature in uh, the near shore. High, high angle oblique view of the delta. We now proceed back uh, west along the uh, south side of Southeast arm. Some boulders in the flats here. Both of Southeast Arm. So we have developed in the rocks as we come around the uh, point. A little bit of a platform below the waterline. And uh, we're looking at uh, rock outcrop all along here, some cliff development. Very high cliffs behind with talus coming down. Some shoots coming down through the trees, and very narrow gravel beach along the base. Southeast Barishwa. Mouth of the Lomond. energy beach deposit and uh, shallow estuary in behind. Lemon River Estuary now with the parish at the uh, both and a view out into uh, East Armour Pond Bay. Extensive uh, shallow subtidal flats here, spit uh, evidence of longshore sediment transport uh, up the arm. A section of uh, low and 
consolidated clips. Pocket beach. Next sand pebble. And we're into rock outcrop again. behind with Talus. Ship uh, coming down across the cliff face into the foreshore. Rock out crop and another pocket beach in the cove. Offset stream outlet in there. with the talus coming down to the lower cliff. Discontinuous gravel beach at the base of the cliffs. Almost continuous beach, no more than three meters wide at the widest along here. Very narrow thin wedge beach material. Back by a steep rocky slope. Mostly tree covered. This continuous rock cliff, three to four meters high, on this continuous gravel beach. Small river outlet. Beach is discontinuous now, giving way to rock outcrop and cliffs. Cove with the narrow beach, pebble gravel around the uh, rim, and then back into rock cliffs. gravel along the base of the cliffs and yet another cove with the uh, pebble gravel beach. Some rock platform development here, discontinuous beach wedge. Pebble Beach and back into rock cliffs. This is Shag Cliff opposite Norris Point. High rock cliffs, some talus ships coming down into the uh, foreshore. Gads Harbour and Gads Point opposite Norris Point. The last section of this tape is 27 minutes long and starts at Gads Point, moving into the south arm of Bond Bay past Entrance Point. Then circling the head of the arm past the mouths of Middlebrook and Mackenzie's Brook, then past Glen Burnie, 
Birchy Head, Shoal Brook, Payne's Point at Winterhouse Brook, Bond Bay, Curzon, Muchess Point, then past Eastern Head at the entrance to Bond Bay, Western Head, Skinner Cove and Green Garden, then circling Trout River Bay. and ending south of Trout River. And God's Point opposite Norris Point. And a view up south arm. The Bond Bay Ferry in the middle of the picture. Community of Bond Bay. Much as Point. Norris Point in the foreground now. The water between Norris Point and Guards Point is the tickle. We now run along the east shore of South Arm. Terrace in behind Guards Point. Just a uh, short stretch of gravel beach. Rock cliffs, narrow rock platform. Now a rock outcrop. Rocky shoreline all along here now. few pockets of pebble gravel beach, very small. View of uh, the upper part of South Arm looking over entrance point. Proceed up to the head of the arm and then back north along the west shore. Now looking down on entrance point. Still the shoreline here is all rock. Very limited discontinuous pockets of uh, loose material. Set pebble uh, material where it forms small pocket beaches. No really rocky shoreline. Birchy Head. Rock outcrop, occasional pockets of pebble gravel beach material. Applying at 780 feet. This is foul. of the low rock cliff here. And a 
there's a small uh, foreland with uh, spit evidence of uh, longshore transport up the inlet. Gravel. And into the Delta Plats at the head of South Arm. This is uh, Mackenzie Brook outlet. Circle around to port to pick up the west shore of. South Arm at Glen Burnie. Delta at the mouth of Middlebrook in the background now. Partially vegetated road fill between the two deltas. Now looking across at the Middlebrook Delta. Raised delta deposit in the back uh, being exploited for aggregates. Extensive pro delta flats. And uh, into Gravel Beach. Small wooden wall fronted by a low tide terrace. Poorly sorted um, fine sediment of gravels. Stream outlet and uh, Rock cliff, estimated 8 meters high. Narrow 2 to 3 meter gravel beach at the base. Some higher cliff development near Birchy Head. Cliffs higher here. Some gravelly beach material along the base of the cliff. It's estimated up to 20 meters high, 2 to 3 meter gravel beach at the base. Now into lower uh, partially vegetated bank. Narrow gravelly beach uh, deposit. Discontinuous uh, gravel beach and uh, rock cliff. Wharfs uh, scattered along the uh, shore here. Fair amount of fine material mixed in with the pebble gravel beach material. And a discontinuous rock cliff behind. Now in the vicinity of Shoal Brook. Extraction of what appears to be an old raised delta. Wide intertidal flats on the present uh, delta. Back into discontinuous outcrop and uh, gravel beach. Point, Winterhouse Brook. Then into Low Rock Outcrop. Nearly continuous gravel beach along the base. Now flying at 420 feet and approaching the community of Bond Bay. Distant view toward Much's Point and the mouth of Bond Bay in the background. Wooden wharfs. And the ferry. Ferry terminal in the foreground. Wooden stages and haul-up ramps. The uh, lighthouse, some gravel beach on the seaward side, 
and into another section with uh, a lot of warp development. Back by low stabilized cliff. Narrow gravel beach back by rock cliff. Estimated five meters high, now giving way to uh, just a low vegetated bank and uh, it's the community of Curzon. Now proceeding north toward Mutch's Point, discontinuous rock outcrop, sometimes fronted by narrow gravel beach, purple cobble sized material. shoreline, small pockets of uh, gravel. Couple cobbles, gravel, pocket beaches. Limited uh, rock platform development. Some boulder rubble material resting on rock, base of the cliff. Cliffs now. Uh, in the vicinity of Eastern Head. Very precipitous rock faces running right down to the waterline. Some rock fall rubble in places. shoreline has some boulder rubble at the base, flying at 500 feet. continuous boulder and rubble material at the base of the cliffs along here. Flow channel coming down to the shore zone back there. Now some uh, lower rock cliff development, gener generally bare rock, some rubble in places. At Eastern Head and South Point, both of Bond Bay. High rock cliffs with uh, talus extending down into the shore zone. Boat in the foreground, small skip of scale. Which is 16 foot boat of scale. Talus guns coming down to the water, rocky shoreline, very coarse rubble at the base in places, and a gravel beach in the background there now by uh, Cliff and Talus. So poorly developed rock platform discontinuous along here. That 
beach has sand in the lower foreshore. Pebble and coarser gravel in the back shore. Much coarser gravel beach in the next pocket. This one after that has some finer material. A whole series of pocket gravel beaches here with intervening uh, rock cliff, uh, almost stack like headlands. Poorly developed rock platform. Some cave and stack development. This is in the vicinity of Western Head. Now very impressive. Partially stabilized talus. Talus and rock ball, boulder debris along the base. Rock outcrop in the near shore. Continuous beach of uh, boulder, rubble material, debris chutes, on the slope behind. Slope's almost entirely mantled with talus debris in the back shore. Rock platform and uh, rubble and beach. fronted by a rock platform, say debris shoot to the left, and we'll swing for a general view back toward the mouth of Pond Bay. And then around to uh, a view south along the coast in the direction we're traveling toward Trout River. A wide rock platform at the base of the cliffs at this point. Boulder rubble at the base of the cliff. Now a cliff-based beach, mixed sand, pebble-sized material, coarse material right at the back, the base of the talus slope below the cliffs. Back into rock cliff and platform. Wallace Brook, that may be. We're just in the vicinity of Skinner Cove at the present time. Both of Wallace Brook, that may be. Beginning to pick up what it be a, an old raised marine platform. Backed by old vegetated talus slopes. Rock cliff and then back into the old terrace. Wide rock platform at the uh, the lower foreshore, backed by gravel beach below the uh, cliff. And the old raised marine platform behind. And now a place called Green Garden, for obvious reasons. A 
old stacks visible in places in the old raised platform. Modern platform with basic cliffs developed in material of the old raised marine platform above. This continuous gravel beach, variable grade size along the base of the cliff. A little bit of sand mixed in in places. Of course, rubble there at the uh, base of the slope, foreshore. One rock platform again. Modern platform becoming almost continuous along here. Discontinuous gravel beach behind. And it's backed by uh, cliffs of variable uh, lovely stack there. There to be at least two terrace levels in the background at the left of the picture. Platform backed by rock cliff undercut at the base, some c cave development. There's continuous notching here base of the cliffs. The rock platform developed in front and the old raised marine terrace above at the top of the cliffs. along the base of the cliffs. Talus in that area was largely stabilized now into a precipitous rock cliff. Limited talus at the base. Discontinuous. Rock platform and outcrop in the near shore. Approaching Trout River. We'll fly across the mouth of Trout River Bay and then swing in around over the uh, community. The old uh, raised marine terraces in the uh, picture there at the south side of north side of Trout River Bay, rather. Extensive rock platform at the uh, base of the cliffs. General view of the spectacular terraces at Trout River in the background. south side of Trout River Bay. More Trout River Pond disappearing in the background. Swinging around now to starboard to give a general view south along the coast from Trout River toward Big Cove Head. And we'll now turn to port and run in over the south side of Trout River Bay. Bed, and into the old uh, terraces 
back in the, the community at Trout River. Sand and very fine gravel beach around the margin of the bay. And another small offset stream outlet at the north side of the bay. Beach mixed sand pebble gravel. Back into the old uh, terraces at the north side. <laughs> 